Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 31st of October. PM Modi says forces inside and outside India working to destabilize country. India wants to move beyond disengagement with China, says Defence Minister. And people in India and Nepal celebrate Diwali and Kukur Tihar. And now for all the details. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday said forces outside India and inside are working to destabilize the country as he addressed the gathering at the Statue of Unity on the National Unity Day dedicated to India's freedom struggle leader Sardar Vallabhai Patel. He said these forces are trying to create a negative image of India in the world. They are trying to divide the country on caste lines and are against a developed India, the Prime Minister Modi added. He also criticized the opposition and said those who chant the name of the constitution insulted it by not implementing it fully. Today, the whole country is happy that after seven decades of independence, the resolution of one country and one constitution has been fulfilled. This is my biggest tribute to Sardar Patel, he said. Bharat ke badte samartha se. भारत में बढ़ते एकता के भाव से कुछ ताकतें कुछ विकृत विचार कुछ विकृत मानसिकता है कुछ ऐसी ताकतें बहुत परेशान है भारत के भीतर और भारत के बाहर भी ऐसे लोग भारत में अस्थिरता भारत में अराजकता फैलाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं द इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर फादर सेड द गवर्नमेंट वाज वर्किंग टुवर्ड्स अचीविंग वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन व्हिच विल गिव द कंट्री अ न्यू मोमेंटम इन अचीविंग द ड्रीम ऑफ अ डेवलप्ड इंडिया he said India is also moving towards one nation, one civil court, a secular civil court for the country. India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Thursday said disengagement of Indian and Chinese forces near the LAC is almost over and added that New Delhi wants to go beyond disengagement. Singh, while inaugurating the Museum of Vela in Tawang, said following recent talks, there has been a broad consensus to restore the ground situation developed on the basis of equal and mutual security. He further said the agreement includes rights related to patrolling and grazing in traditional areas. We will strive to move beyond just disengagement, but for that we will need to wait a little longer, the Defence Minister added. Relations between the two neighbours had nosedived in 2020 after forces of both countries clashed in Galvan Valley. They reached a deal last week on patrolling the frontier in the Indian territory of Ladakh to end the four-year-long standoff, paving the way for improved bilateral ties. The thaw is expected to boost economic ties that were hurt by the border tensions, although Indian officials said New Delhi would move cautiously given the trust deficit that has built up. कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स को रिजॉल्व करने के लिए भारत और चीन के बीच डिप्लोमेटिक और मिलिट्री दोनों ही लेवल्स पर बातचीत हो रही थी अभी हाल ही हाल की बातचीत के बाद ग्राउंड सिचुएशन को रेस्टोर करने के लिए आपस में ब्रॉड कंसेंसस हुई है यह कंसेंसस इक्वल और म्यूचुअल सिक्योरिटी के बेसिस पर डेवलप हुई है जो सहमति बनी है उसके अंतर्गत ट्रेडिशनल एरियाज में पेट्रोलिंग और ग्रेजिंग के अधिकार भी शामिल हैं इस सहमत के आधार पर डिसमेंट की का प्रोसेस लगभग यह पूरा हो गया है और हमारा प्रयास होगा कि बात डिसमेंट से भी आगे बढ़े लेकिन उसके लिए हमें भी प्रतीक्षा करनी होगी 
Moving on, dense smog engulfed Pakistan's Lahore on Wednesday with most residents on streets seen donning face masks after authorities declared it mandatory a day earlier. Authorities in Lahore, the capital city of Punjab province, have introduced mandatory mask wearing and restricted outdoor activities to combat severe smog. The move follows an alarming surge in air pollution posing serious health risks to vulnerable groups. स्मोक की वजह से आपको पता है जो बच्चे बीमार हो रहे हैं गले खराब हो रहे हैं तो खांसियां हो रही हैं बच्चों को उसकी वजह से ये मास्क लगा रहे हैं ताकि स्मोक से बच सके जी थोड़ा फर्क पड़ रहा है बेहतर है वो स्मोक की वजह से अब लोग खरीद रहे हैं पहले नहीं खरीद रहे थे तो अब ये स्कूलों में अलाउ कर दिया है ठीक है नहीं अब ये मास्क खरीद रहे बच्चों के लिए बोल रहे Lahore's air quality index dipped to 199 on Thursday, a marked improvement from when it topped the global pollution charts earlier on Monday with an AQI of 507. Punjab air quality deteriorates every winter year when cold air traps pollutants from sources including vehicles, industries, construction dust and agricultural waste burning. Moving on, the Taliban have banned women's voices from being heard amongst other women, multiple media reports have suggested. Khalid Hanafi, the Taliban's Minister for Virtue, according to UK-based The Metro, has said it was forbidden for adult women to allow their voices to be heard as part of new restrictions. Earlier in August, the Taliban had banned women from reading or singing in public and introduced rules that must also veil their face and body at all times in public the men in turn are also forbidden to look at women afghan women's rights activists have said the misogynistic policies are restricting their ability to move work and even speak freely a un report in july said the ministry was contributing to a climate of fear and intimidation among afghans especially women and girls Meanwhile, the UN on Wednesday urged a probe into the killings in Bangladesh during protests that led to the downfall of ousted Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, while also calling for minority protection and a national process of truth and healing. In a statement after concluding his visit to the South Asian nation, UN High Commissioner for Human Rights Walker Turk said, "After any period of repression, upheaval, and violence." there needs to be a national process of truth and healing to move forward he added the pursuit of justice for the brutal violence against protesters and other people including children killed and seriously wounded in july and august is a priority the unrest was some of the deadliest since the country's independence in 1971 resulting in over 1000 deaths and numerous injuries many of them among protesting university and college students according to the Bangladeshi Interim Health Ministry. The unrest continued after Hasina fled as her party officials and supporters faced the wrath of demonstrators. Attacks were also reported against minorities. A UN fact-finding mission is investigating allegations of attacks against minorities between August 5 to August 15. Moving on people across India on Thursday celebrated the festival of lights Diwali with prayers and a display of fireworks meanwhile in Nepal people celebrated Kukur Tihar a day dedicated to honoring dogs take a look People in parts of India on Thursday offered prayers lit lamps and burst firecrackers to celebrate the festival of lights Diwali considered the most important festival in the Hindu calendar Diwali symbolizes the victory of righteousness over evil and the lifting of spiritual darkness it is believed that millions of lamps were lit when hindu lord ram returned to his kingdom ayodhya after 14 years of exile and defeating ravan the demon king of lanka diwali is also celebrated in honor of hindu goddess of wealth and prosperity lakshmi it is believed that goddess lakshmi showers her blessings upon homes that are clean and well lit Today is a special occasion it's Diwali and it's good to see people here coming and celebrating and uh, wishing you all a very happy Diwali Meanwhile police officials in Nepal's capital Kathmandu awarded medals and treats to dogs on Thursday as part of Kukur Tihar celebrations the second day of the 5 day Tihar festival during which animals are worshiped 
across the Himalayan nation. At the Central Dog Training School in Kathmandu, dogs were felicitated for their contribution to maintaining security and helping officials solve cases. The event also included competitions and obedience displays. The dogs were also offered special feast and worshipped with vermilion powder and flowers. Today is uh, Kukurtiha, that is celebration of dogs by uh, garlanding the flower garlands and uh, feeding them the sweet treats to the dogs using the vermilion on their forehead. This is uh, for their dedication to their work, to the uh, Nepal police investigation purposes. People across the Hindu majority nation also honor their dogs with baths, garlands and special treats to mark Kukur Tihar. Devout Hindus consider the dog to be the messenger of Yamaraj, the god of death, and believe that worshipping the animal makes him happy. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.